Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a real short video. Hopefully this is super short. Okay, so anyway, I have an oil diffuser at home that I use for a ton of different things. So I just want to show you what I did with a mini happy planner here and um, a list of oils that I have, etc. So I made a list of all my different oils and I just used it on a scratch notepad. Um... I used my Recollections stencil here and I actually used this drop right here. This There's a couple different drops on here. There's a larger one too, but I used the small one on this. I have another stencil that has a bunch of different sizes, but this was the smallest. So this is the cover that came on my um, original happy planner and what I did was I took some extra rings that I had from another disc planner and I basically created a notebook and a storage for extra pages so when you open it up the first thing you see is my oils listed by brand so I have my doTERRA oils as you can see I don't have a whole heck of a lot but I listed what I had and the stickers that you see here I used from this um, teacher book and I just used some of the blanks um, and what I did was I used two per section so I put two side by side just to make it long enough to where I had plenty of room to write and then I used my friction highlighters in the pastels to color in the dots. So as I fill in each of the dots, I'll color them in with my friction highlighter. And the, I color coded them for a reason. So my Better Homes and Garden oils that I use in my diffuser are here. Then on this page, I have the essential oil for aromatherapy. This brand is right here. So I found this at Walmart and I've also found them at Michael's. So I didn't have a red, so I just used pink. Um, and then I used two different pens. I used a Inkjoy ballpoint, one millimeter um, pen and then I also use this gel pen that's kind of got like a sparkle like glossy look to it it's kind of hard to see on camera um, I got it in a pen case from Michaels so I use that as well and then what I did was I started to create a recipe book and I only have one recipe in here so far but this is currently what I'm having my diffuser was I needed something to kind of pick me up so I found a midday pick me up recipe where you used frankincense, sweet orange, and peppermint and now you can see what, why I have them color coded so I know what brand I need to pull from. Then I just wrote a synopsis of what the benefit is, why I would want to use this recipe um, and then my my plan is that I want to use the additional pages to quickly do by alphabetical and what I want to do is put down like for instance peppermint. What are all the benefits of peppermint? And just make a list. Yeah I can google it. Yeah I can go online and find all this information whenever I need it but I'm a paper person. I really like being able to have a book and just quickly be able to flip through to where I want and already have it written out. So also in this book I have a dashboard and it's got some little post-it note lists on here but in the back is where I keep my spare daily pages and I have a couple of calendar pages here that I didn't use so they're pretty and I just think about using these as dividers for something else so I've got them back here just for storage so that is all just a real quick short video of 
my essential oil notebook that I hope to continue to develop and put more recipes as I find them on Pinterest or the internet. Uh, so when my son's having an asthma attack, when I have a migraine, etc., um, I can just quickly go here and go, oh yeah, that's right, I need to pull these oils. So I don't have to look online and go, do I have that oil, do I not? Everything's all in this book. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.